you just have to trust that what you're doing is stronger than what your opponent is doing and i don't know if they can put in a little bit more of a you know forward facing game plan and hey show i think is literally only broken in elder well it's it's a like ridiculously strong card but elder gets to play it faster than normal gets to give it deathless like right off the bat it's it's actually like egregious this is a bit of a greedy keep we're attacking on odds so the mordekaiser isn't as good but lord malat this is just good a good stuff hand once we get to our iron hound bam there we go we're in a fantastic spot because formidables don't do well into fearsomes i'm gonna pass i want to see what my opponent does Weapons? No, 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 no. We take Blunder. We can take Formidable off of something or use it to pop a Spell Shield. But yeah, I definitely got to look at the uh, deck checks after this. You're right. Now that I've kind of refined this Mordekaiser list, I'm just like really having a ball with it. Just play the Boisterous right, Host down. I've got Death's Grasp. Oh, they don't want to attack? That's crazy. They must have Balin the Benevolent. Here's some units really strong to just flop it down. These already um, can't block Fearsome. I'd just be putting a Fearsome unit in play. So it might be better to just play Lord Malat, actually. Play Deathgrass Cultist next turn, then Iron Hound on six, and then Mordekaiser on seven, and then that way we get more Cultists lining up with things that we actually want terrorized. The damage and the uh, mana cost stack. I haven't had a chance to put two Icor in my opponent's hand. Usually I get one hit with Razor Mace and they just cast Icor right away and then that's it. Icor would be much better if there was multiple cards that generated it for sure because the fact that it costs three is incredibly good. Use Spectacles and Shady Character. Oh my god, you're running nine. Okay, I respect it. That's actually goaded. Thorns of the Rose. Yeah attack like this no, no. and then it's just Mordekaiser fodder I don't really have anything in play that my opponent cares to trade Broadwing into but okay I like this boy the reputation package lives on baby oh no my spells <laughs> not my spells no Now my curses are costing more. And the next turn we play Iron Hound. Then I can Mordekaiser. I probably didn't even really need to attack with Lord Malat. Just leave it alive as a Deathless unit that I can abuse with Mordekaiser. But with Iron Hound Mordekaiser curve coming up, it's better for me to clear my board. Yeah, they don't actually care about cleansing their, uh, their stuff at all. Magical fettering to put suppression on me. Hmm. Okay. I'll pay my taxes. Oh, that's nice and chill. You're going to trade your whole board away, homie. No, no, no. I was about to say, like, you can't do that. Like, that's illegal. All right, so now I've got Iron Hound. We sacrifice Lord Malat because it's extra. Well, no, I'll get value for Mordekaiser eventually. Better to keep a 5-1 up because it's super good and formidable to just have high, high attack, low HP. Because this deck doesn't have any pings. Honestly, I don't need spells. The spells are are to help me fight and like get tempo against things that I can't really deal with. That's a little annoying. Five mana shackle. But I can just sacrifice this and it gets rid of the shackle. So it's fine. 15 cost curses seem like an oversight. I, I know that we don't have precedent for that. Why is it five mana? Because of Stony Suppressor. Morgana shackles something twice. 
So it puts a four mana shackle on that unit. And then it's plus one because of Stony Suppressor. Nice. I'm only taking nine and my Spectral uh, Iron Hound lives. So I get to resurrect it. And we get double count for Lord Malat. So that's seven, eight, nine. Why didn't they pull that? I think they're trying to bait me into a form up, but if they had form up, they would have just killed the Iron Hound anyway. And then they could have just weird because only had I had so much mana open. I guess they were worried about. I don't know. I don't know, bro. I'm leaving Morgana up though. Death Realm. Okay. Guess I win. Oh wait, no, it's plus one mana. <laughs> That's okay. We've got a Chronicle of Ruin. Have we put Deathless on Yumi yet? No. You need to Death Grasp the 5-3. You'll get another 8 drop. Oh yeah, because of the resurrection. I have to keep Morgana in play. Because um, if they have a second Morgana, they shackle Mordecai. No, I have I have mana to, to unshackle Mordekaiser with this play. I could get punished by Mahira, I guess. If, they, if they're running that, because then they can shackle two of my boys and I can't unshackle both. Oh, they have Gentleman's Duel. I do have Soul Harvest. They would have used that in combat, so that's good. True. And there's Galio. Soul Harvest does still hit. Alternatively, Chronicler of Ruin flips Mordekaiser. Then I hit them for 16. But then my opponent kills me on open, right? Yeah, we kill Morgana and then take out the Broadwing. You're you're correct, Remney. I like that line. I can do this and get another Mordekaiser. My opponent rallies off of this, but I just wipe their board and it's fine. And then we just develop afterwards. Could be buffs in hand. Yeah, shield of Durand. But then Galio taking them both taking damage from Formidable. I could just play Mordekaiser. Doom is my instrument. I am not done with you. I still have to attack with level two Mordekaiser to get my uh, effect. Weird game. game with with something i actually want to play so this is uh gwen zed i like the death's grasp as a way to block two things you just finish them off with fervor and mystic that is true the deck has no like way to respond to things it's better for me not to attack i need blockers for zed or else we get snowballed on Hang on, Fuzzball. Hey. Welcome, one and all, 
to the midnight rebel. Ooh, nice. May I see your invite? We take this block so it buffs up LeBlanc. So she will level a bit faster. I hate having to put my face on. Do not fear the shrouded path. Four bully elder in a row. Yeah, I, I know that that would get very, very tiresome. This deck probably does give um, Elder a lot of issue. Like, if you just go back to playing this, like, you get punished by Avalanche, I guess. Yeah, that's crazy. Their hand must be garbage if you're going to shut. It's weird that people shadow shift like that because you just let that resolve and then you just play your other Zed anyway. I don't know, man. I'm taking the bad matchup for the sake of stream content, <laughs> right? We'll, uh, we'll take Blunder. Taking quick attack off of stuff is very helpful. LeBlanc is about to level. We just have to not get beat up by elusives. This is just a knife fight, right? Like, just keep developing and force your opponent to block down. We're going to put Deathless on Ceaseless Sentry. We, seek forgiveness, we actually don't care about stagehand. Force him to use it defensively and not aggressively is key. Because LeBlanc's going to level up either way. She's only two off of leveling. I must do this. You still attack there. Don't let the stagehand bully you out of playing the game. My opponent has two, one hallowed death. Are you certain? Soul harvest on the Zed is great. We take eight damage. That way they don't get the, um, the other shadow. Into darkness. We can lead you to the severed into Mordekaiser. And then we are hitting for... Enough. Destiny is darkness. I am not done with you. I am not done with you. So now we have this to challenge. We've got blockers because of Deathless. My opponent ironically can't block this. Surprised to see me. I will lay waste to you. Kill one of these. We have a hallowed stack, so hang on. How many? We have two hallowed stacks, so we actually can have the two one become a threat. Oh, They're both. Uh, Gwen is guaranteed damage, but Greenclay do is also unblockable damage, so I think it is best to just attack like this, because we've got ten open over here. Where are you going? Scissors at the ready. Shark Chariot's cute. I can mirror image just to draw an extra card. Actually, no. You slay a unit, revive it. No, it doesn't work that way. If we make an extra Mordekaiser and it dies, it counts double for our other Mordekaiser. It's an exact copy, so it's actually deathless. We get another Mordekaiser. Classic misdirection. So now every time some di something dies, we revive it twice. And as long as my opponent doesn't grab another elusive threat, they can't kill me here. I've got Death's Grasp to kill Gwen. How many Hallowed Stacks they got? Just one? So we have the block with our Mord. 
Pass. Nothing to fear. Block there, block there. That's free. Block there. Get another, um, what's the name? We just go down to two. Death mark. And Mordekaiser is deathless, so it doesn't matter. He just comes back to life. And my opponent's entire board is wiped. Honestly, this is kind of fire. I could have even done Death's Grasp to save LeBlanc. But we have the Forbidden Mirror Image Double Mordekaiser Gambit. This Mordekaiser isn't Deathless anymore, but... The best lies are beautiful. Float the three mana. Win on open. You love to see it. That was a well played Another match, I must say. Garden. Because we're both playing like tempo decks. The tug of war about who's winning and who's putting on pressure is very, very cool. There is an invisible, like, third force going on that's much more pronounced. Like, there's always the concept of tempo in any competitive game. But in this particular matchup, it is in, in, super, super pronounced. 